another description is from the German Heinrich Bünting in 1582. The text claims that the Dome of the Rock being round and artwork have, having been mounted inside and out by the Turkish Sultan. Later authors will elevate our understanding that round was not precise and likely meant eight a square round. We've seen already before that they could differentiate between an octagon and a circle. We have had at least two pilgrims who've described the Dome of the Rock as having an octagon base building and then a round dome rising above it. Apparently during Breitmar's visit the tomb of Jesus Christ is under the rock towards the end of the 16th century it has been moved to the church of the sepulchre. Now we're getting into crazy territory again. Clearly the holy sepulchre was always the place where Christians believed Jesus' grave was. The grave was, in, was never under the rock and was never moved to the holy sepulchre. But even better is here that he claims the dome of the rock was completely destroyed several times in 1012 and 1046 and then he gives us a footnote. This is written in German, luckily I can understand it. So let me try and translate. In the year after Christ's birth, 1012, the Caliph and Egyptian Sultan has taken the city of Jerusalem and has destroyed the beautiful temple which Emperor Constantine the Great built above the Holy Grave. So that doesn't sound like the Dome of the Rock. Emperor Constantine the Great didn't build the Dome of the Rock above the Holy Grave. He built the Holy Sepulchre. In the year 1246, Sassanus the Tatar King was called by the Sultan and came with a large army in to the Jewish lands, he took the city of Jerusalem, he killed the Christians and destroyed the Holy Grave. Again, talking about the Holy Grave, that's the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, not the Dome of the Rock. So I don't know what AJ was reading here. The Dome of the Rock was not completely destroyed several times. According to this text, it was the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. I don't know if he understood it and that's why he added this part about the grave being moved to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Does he claim that the original Dome of the Rock was built by Constantine the Great? I don't know, uh, doesn't, doesn't make any sense whatsoever here. Either AJ is completely incompetent or completely disingenuous.